a giant African rat. Okay, stay with us. <laughs> it's, it's worth it. A giant African rat at the San Diego Zoo is showing off her sense of smell and improving the reputation of her fellow rats along the way. That's right. Runa, this is Runa, a Gambian pouched rat, is an ambassador for other hero rats using their noses to make change. CBS 8's Evan Narani visited the San Diego Zoo where Runa showed off her skills in this Earth 8 report. She's going to use her awesome sense of smell to find the hidden scent. Meet Runa. She's an African pouched rat. She calls the San Diego Zoo home. Oh, and her incredible sense of smell could be the key to ending wildlife trafficking. Of course, everyone who meets her thinks what a cute three pound rat. I mean, she's bigger than the normal rat. She's showing her intelligence. She has personality and a lot of wildlife does that. Good job. It may sound too good to be true, but her trainers say it's already becoming reality with other rats trained just like her, so much so that they've been given the name Hero Rats. The nose on these giant rats can smell out some of the most trafficked animal parts in the world. And beyond that, help in detecting landmines and even in life-saving human recovery operations following natural disasters. We can use positive reinforcement or operant conditioning to teach her to discriminate between all the other scents in her environment. So we chose chamomile tea and we're able to teach her that that scent has value. And then from there, she learned her job of go find, target scent, bring back to us. It's through a Belgian-based nonprofit called Apopo that Runa and other rats learn their skills. These moderately tiny but mighty creatures are helping change perception of what some consider a dirty pest roaming the streets. Runa is trained with a target scent, so she's able to discriminate between that scent and other scents to be able to find the one she's specifically looking for, like that. They're smaller, they're a little easier to take care of, less food, less um, expense for training. Uh, you can transport multiple ones in one vehicle. So there's a lot of reasons why rats are a preferred detection animal. And while Runa is an ambassador to the program trained with a chamomile tea scent, almost any other scent can be used during their training. TNT, for example. TNT is a scent you can actually train these rats to discriminate from. And uh, the rats are wonderful because they're so small, they don't detonate the leftover landmines because they're only three pounds, takes about 11 pounds to detonate a landmine. And they can actually clear the size of a tennis court uh, in about 30 minutes, which is much faster than a human with a metal detector. And in that sense, based on their small size, they even have dogs beat. She's going to come down onto the table and sniff, 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 find the one with the positive scent. In training to detect smuggled wildlife products, the scent of the scales on pangolins, one of the most trafficked animals in the world, could be key to saving the critically endangered species. And that she's really using her nose, and that's where we have the three blank scents with one target scent, and she is 100% correct. She never gets that wrong. No matter how I mix it up, she always finds her target um, scent and is able to bring that back to the trainers. That means even when scents like coffee, for example, are used to mask a target scent, the rats can still smell past it. So hero rats are really rare in American zoos. There's only three zoos that have them, and I think Runa is one of the best trained. She does some great um, presentations and really educates people about hero rats and the great intelligence and scent detection that they can do. This is why they're called pouched rats. Following training, rats will be brought to a seaport on the African coast for more trial runs. Eventually, more rats could be trained and brought to other ports of entry for their new job. Good girl. At the San Diego Zoo, Evan Narani, CBS 8.